I would like to say, as we leave the parking lot, look at how Human Pilot pulls like straight forward and then makes the right hand turn, whereas like FSD seems to like cut it. Yeah. Well, that's really hard. Obviously, there's, you have to know your car, right? You have to know the... The length, the side width, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Gray Shot Down. I am Gray Shot Down on the Sticks, alongside Doggone Sci-Fi Behind the Wheel. We are going to take you on another, on another full self-drive aerial perspective video of Tesla's 12.3.3 full self-driving software stack. If you are liking this content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We all know how that helps the insane YouTube algorithm, and we greatly appreciate it. See, I feel like I'm really far right. In the lane? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not centered in the lane. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is a little right. Justified. And I'm in auto max. So oh, yes. For the viewers that commented about us forgetting about the auto max setting, we have fixed it for this these drives. Random side note, those tahini gummy bears are delicious. I didn't even make them better as if they were chamoy tahini. Oh, there you go. I agree with that. Which means it's almost pineapple and mango season, which means that it's <laughs> Almost pineapple mango tahini chamoy. <laughs> but you don't like cucumber, right? Not a big fan. I find it interesting that in Hispanic culture, cucumber is a fruit. <laughs> they don't eat it like a vegetable like we do. No? They put it like with their pineapple and mango, like with the chamoy tahini. Hmm. I haven't done anything, by the way. Oh, yeah, we are keeping track of the interventions using analog methods, that good old-fashioned counter. Oh, shit. I feel there like you. that was really close, but I was just like, I'm just going to let it happen. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I feel like they got really close. I'm yeah, they get a little close on that. You have to see it from the air perspective. Yeah. The nice thing is I don't worry about those as much because they're those rounded because, you know, they were smart in installing them. Yeah, but there's some of them around <laughs> here that are a bit hard on the edges. Yes. <laughs> some are not rounded. <laughs> Got to film this. I'm going. You can't do anything about it. Just leave it. That's right. Nothing I can do. Sorry. If it does, though, fair enough. If it goes up past 45, I'm going to disengage and teach it because... I, I'm fine with it speeding a little bit. That's fine, but I'm talking about if it goes like 49, 50, it doesn't need to go that fast on this road. But most do, that we've seen, you know. Yeah, but there's no one out here. <laughs> and it's only 40. Let's just see what it's going to do, if you don't mind. Are you, if you're able to keep up? Yeah, I'm fine. So it's 40 and I'm going 8 over. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm going 9 over. Yeah. You're fine. I know. I realized dog on sci fi over. Dog on sci fi is a little hesitant today. I am going ten over. It's not slowing down like it should. So I'm gonna enter being. The thing with the auto max setting is that it's auto max. In other words, I, how fast can I go? <laughs> it's it's not comfortable for all. It's very comfortable comfortable for me, but I am a fast driver. But here's my thing. I was going 10 over. I will get pulled over in a heartbeat going 10 over in this area. Probably not on this road, because I've seen people do 70 on that road. You, we've seen it. We've actually caught them tailgating us before, you know? I know, but anyways, I'm not going to have an argument. No, 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 you're fine. Navigation. Uh, just go ahead and update. I know. Don't backseat drip. <laughs> I gotta wait until after I get over the bridge because otherwise it has us try and do a turnaround. Understood. Anyways, I don't see a need to go 50 miles an hour on a road where there is no one around. And we've talked about this. This is what comf driver comfortability is. Yeah. 
I think that the problem with auto max, and I've, you and I have talked about this, it's kind of like you just said, it's set to max, right? What's the fastest I can go for weather in the road? I was simply trying to say that it's hard to have one setting for all. That's essentially what the words I was looking for. Fair enough, but I feel like there's also needs to take into account like the speed limits. Like I I agree like when we normally drive doing okay. Yeah. You can't change it. No. Um this is the to be honest, this is the first time we're doing FSD drives using Automax, and I think Dog on Sci-Fi is just getting used to uh, knowing that she can't set the speed. No, I drive with Automax, okay. even without you, and I usually disengage when I feel like it's going way too freaking fast. For me, honestly, Automax has been great on my own personal drives. I've liked the speed, I liked how it handles stuff. Because you drive 8% over, right? At least. Yeah. I don't. I have a headwind I'm heading into here, viewers. Please don't disengage, doggone sci-fi. I can cover it with not a problem from the scenic air perspective. This is the part of the drive that I've got wind, a headwind going into. Yeah. Good corner. Should be able to catch up right here. Perfect. I think it's okay to disengage and give feedback. That that's there's no reason to go ten miles over. I'm sure I'll get hate from your followers. More you will. We, that, that's why I'm trying to prevent it. Uh -huh. So you will. Have you disengaged, or was it just hesitation almost? I haven't done shit. Awesome. <laughs> Whew. Prevented it. <laughs> Prevented what? That. <laughs> I appreciate it's going a good speed through a neighborhood, at least. So far, we've had a disengagement-free drive, everyone. We'll see if we can keep it going. to a light. We could in theory sneak out, don't know. And then we could go. We <laughs> felt like I was really close to the corner on that one. <laughs> you can see it from the air perspective. Yeah. Fifty-two. Everyone Dude. goes fast on this road. I know, but do you need me to? I'm catching good? up, dear. Yeah, everyone goes really fast on this road. Yeah. Hesitant to get in the turn lane, but it does it. There you go. Excellent. Good weight. Excellent weight. Oh yeah. Could go after Should this go white after car. this white car, hit this gap. So I'm gonna give it the No, gap. you shouldn't even have to give it anything. Did you have to do anything or were you nope, giving it, it something? Did it, it did it itself. Okay, just to clarify for the viewers. As soon as you told me now I listened. I followed consent rules. Thank you. Basically what we're tracking, viewers, is if Doggone Sci-Fi touches anything, any input is error. And so that's what the the counts that we're tracking here. So where are we at? Are we at zero still? Well, technically one, because I didn't like that it was going 52 miles per hour. So you disengaged 40. there. Yeah. So we had one disengagement. Yeah. But not because it was driving 
like it's not because it was a critical or... safety disengagement that was a comfort disengagement yeah because i don't need to go 10 miles over well again if you are liking the content please be sure to like comment and subscribe i'm grace shot down on the sticks alongside dog on sci-fi behind the wheel this has been another aerial push you're gonna let it turn in right mm -hmm. okay this has been another aerial perspective video of tesla's full self-driving software stack of version 12.3.3 did everything itself <laughs>